Walter had an organ upstairs and you could hear him playing it all through the neighborhood. Um, sometimes it'd be two in the morning and you'd wake up and you'd hear him playing the organ and it'd always kind of make me feel better, you know, smile a little. Obviously with discrimination and whatnot, he was a pretty accomplished guy for his era. I knew that Walter, he's got, you know, some hearing problems and he had a fall last year, so he's got some mobility issues too. And so I just uh, ran downstairs and put on a pair of shoes and ran back through here. I mean, you don't think about it. You just know somebody's in trouble, so you go, you know, it's, you think about it afterward. When I was running through, it kind of busted out, so there was glass coming through and stuff from above that I don't know what it was, but it was melting hot something that was coming down in ashes. So when that window broke out, there was actually flames that came out, and uh, you can see where it melted the side of my house too. What were some of the conditions that were making this a little more dangerous here, and then you said between the house there were... Yeah, my propane line is there, like right there, buried. <laughs> You know, my propane line is in between the two houses. They're really, really close together. They're only a couple feet apart. And uh, after the fire, actually after the fire, I uh, went to my godson's wrestling tournament. So I was gone all day and I, I didn't know what it looked like because it was dark. And so I came back and then I was showing my friend what happened and that's when I noticed like the kerosene and, and all the gas that were there, you know. I mean, when I knew I had to run through here, you just, you just kind of do it, you know, I mean, you can feel all that heat and the broken glass and you're walking over snow so you can feel the snow crunching, but you know that there's bits of glass in there that your feet are hitting. So you go through and it's scary, but you just, you don't think about the part that's scary, you just think about the job you have to do. When I came through, like I, I came down and I, I could hear him yelling for help, he was yelling for help out of the the window up there. I knew there was a ladder hanging here so I told him that I was gonna grab the ladder and he said okay. So I just grabbed the ladder and once we got it up there um, you know he swung his leg around and I climbed up a little bit and I, I helped him get down. The windows were blowing out from the heat. There was glass coming out and so I was afraid it was gonna knock the ladder over so I was trying to hold him as steady as I could. When we came down, I don't think either one of us really know what to do because I couldn't carry him and there was broken glass and, you know, just when I wasn't sure what to do, the firemen actually came around and uh, a couple of firemen carried him off. Um, even though it's a rough neighborhood, I mean, Gettings Place is a nice place to live. It was an electrical fire. It was caused by a halogen lamp um, in his living room that he had been using to keep his flowers nice during the winter. Walter loved gardening and he took a lot of pride in his house and in his backyard. Everything back here was meticulous all the time. Thank God, in right. In fact, the only reason I knew where to find the ladder was because the ladder was always in the same place. You know, he was never content to just have his own nice either. I mean, he went through the entire neighborhood working with everyone's flowers, taking care of our trees. He was a good neighbor to have. Um, I'm a social worker and I work for a foster care agency, so, and I'm a substitute teacher. 